had the delivery of a calf to a first-time mother. She's a descendant of Yellowstone bison, so genetically she's very valuable. These are a, a small number of animals that originated in Yellowstone from the Yellowstone bison herd. This calf is the first one of our, our season this year, and we're really excited. It's always great to see a happy, healthy baby. The Yellowstone herd is an excellent herd for doing uh, restoration or starting new herds from. It's very rich with the genetic makeup, very diverse, and the only problem is that it is infected with brucellosis. Brucellosis is a zoonotic disease, um, so people and animals can get it. Um, in bison, it causes abortion, and a lot of times mothers who have brucellosis can have sickly or weak calves that don't often survive. If we were just to take some animals out of Yellowstone, there would be a chance that some of those would be brucellosis positive, and if we allow them to just breed naturally outside of the park, they could carry that disease outside of the park and potentially infect other animals. So what we're doing is really trying to solve that problem by using assisted reproduction. Once we collect the semen, we pass it through a solution that removes any pathogens from the surface of the sperm, and it actually separates the sperm from the semen. So at the end, we get a pure sample that we can use for insemination. Our goal is to use assisted reproductive techniques such as artificial insemination and embryo transfer um, to be able to generate offspring that do not have brucellosis but that have the valuable genetics that we want. We really wanted to contribute to bison conservation and we felt that being able to preserve the Yellowstone genetic lineage is a really valuable contribution to that effort. It's just nice that we can kind of pick up that story of restoration with some of those Yellowstone genetics and begin to establish some public herds and tribal herds again. I hope what we're seeing is a happy herd of a dozen or so bison kind of running along that short grass prairie out there. Uh, that's really my hope and my goal.